Hello, this is Franklin Frith, General Manager and Principal with Human Resources Mexico, and today we're going to discuss briefly the Human Resources Mexico proposal. You're going to get this video with this proposal. I'm going to take just a couple brief minutes. This is worth your time to just to uh, show you what's in the proposal and what to expect from the proposal so that the process of understanding the proposal is streamlined for you and your time can you be used efficiently. The first and most important thing is the main page of our proposal. The very first page provides you with the annual total cost. Okay, no wasting time with Human Resources Mexico. You can see the actual total cost, no other fees, no other charges, no nothing. Look at the total cost. If it's out of your range or out of what you were expecting or whatever, fine, put the proposal away, throw it away. I mean, no wasting time with us. The uh, third page uh, is just briefly going to give you the 10 differences between Human Resources Mexico and the global and international PEO. You're more than free to look at those 10 differences. Now, with that said, there is going to be just a brief uh, introduction on page five. The introduction's just gonna have some of the key points like um, referring to the case number of the salaries that you gave us to base the proposal on and some other minor details that are gonna be important that were used to make the proposal for you. Uh, the other thing that you're going to want to definitely pay attention to is on page 9 of the proposal, you're going to see a box of the implementation costs, setup fees, and things like this. As of March of 2018, Human Resources Mexico has waived all setup fees, all deposits, all uh, one-time fees, everything else. There's no cost of doing business in Mexico with us. Uh, the other important thing on this page is it's going to give you the basis for the salary, the pay period, if there's an allowance, if there's a savings match. In other words, this is the basis of what the proposal is based on. So this is a very important section of our proposal. Now, jumping forward, we will go to page 14. Page 14 is going to give you the final total cost for each salary group or each group of employees based on the basis of the pages uh, before that we just mentioned. This page will include the total cost markup factor. Here in Human Resources Mexico, we charge a total cost markup factor, which includes our 10% administrative fee. This total cost markup factor is applied only to gross taxable compensation. This is how Human Resources Mexico covers all the uh, cost associated with the payroll and our administrative fee. Please keep in mind that any tax deductible expenses, whether it be tax deductible expense re, uh, reimbursements, whether it be automobiles that we provide to the employee, offices, homes, cell phones, things like that, uh, all those uh, tax, deductible, uh, tax deductible expenses are billed and invoiced at a one factor. There are no fees no administrative charges, and no additional costs for those, okay? So the total cost markup factor is only applied to taxable, a gross taxable compensation. And I will tell you, based on all the analytical uh, business intelligence research, uh, our company, Human Resources Mexico, uh, comes in at about 15% less cost than any global and international PEO on the planet. Why? Because we have physical offices here in Mexico. We have staff here in Mexico. We've been here 10 years in Mexico, A1 credit rating, okay? Perfect tax payment record. And that is why our costs are less. We're not trying to do business and manage a country from another country, okay? Now, with that said, one of the other very important pages that you're going to want to pay attention to is page 19. Page 19 is going to give you a summary of everything in the proposal. It's going to mention the total cost markup factor. It's going to talk about whether or not we're, what uh, currency we're going to invoice you in and some other details. For example, if you had mentioned uh, specific things in the proposal process that we need to address and put in writing, it's going to be on page 19. So there's other sections of the proposal. In other words, you know, the uh, employer obligations in Mexico and things like that that you're definitely going to want to read and how the Christmas bonus works and how the severance works. But at least now you have a very basic tour of our proposal here in Mexico. 
I invite you to look at our proposal. Any questions, please submit them to us. We'll be more than happy to have a conference call with you and your team to discuss the proposal and discuss the implementation of expanding your, do, uh, expanding your business in Mexico. Again, 10 years in Mexico with Human Resources Mexico, the most trusted PEO in Mexico. Again, this is Franklin Frith. General Manager and Principal of Human Resources Mexico, and we definitely look forward to doing a business with you.